everybody, today is really exciting. I am doing a first impression and review of the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation and the Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. So I have heard a lot of things that you're supposed to wear these together. They just work best together. So that's why I bought them as a pair. So yeah, if you have to see how this foundation applies, how it works throughout the day, just please keep watching. Alright you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I have already washed, moisturized, and primed my face. For primer, I used the CoverFX Modifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. Now I am so excited to test these out. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, the 15 Hour Wear, Hydrating Foundation Oil Free, and the Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer Oil Free. So. This is the duo, and the entire reason I wanted to try this out is because of Casey Holmes and a few other people on YouTube. I just see so much rant and rave about it, so I wanted to try it out. I got the shade 0.5 in the foundation, which I believe is the lightest shade, and I got Fair in the concealer, which is also the lightest shade. So this foundation retails for $42, and the concealer retails for $25. Um, to be honest, it does not look that light. We'll see. <laughs> so a few claims about this foundation. It says this hydrating foundation was created in our LA photo studio to look and feel amazing throughout an entire 15 hour shoot. Medium to full buildable coverage, oil free, controls oil all day. I need that. <laughs> it says sweat and humidity and exercise resistant, color true and transfer resistant, demi matte finish. To use, blend well over skin with a brush, sponge, or fingertips starting at the center of the face. Okay. To start, this packaging is beautiful. It's like this nice heavy bottle with a matte black lid, and it does have a pump, which I adore. Let's see. It's quite runny, as you can see it's running down my hand. So let's see a little swatch comparison. So I normally use the Revlon Color Stay for combination oily in 110. So here is the Smashbox in 0.5 which is the lightest shade and then the 110 um, Revlon Color Stay. It is quite a bit more like peachy I want to say. Hmm. I don't know. That shade is not going to work on me. Let's try it. Okay. So again I've already primed my face so on one side I'm going to use a brush and on one side I'm going to use a sponge. This is my Sigma Kabuki F80. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand because I don't know how much I need. So far the coverage is not bad. I'd say it's a high medium. Get your ears. I'm gonna take a little bit down my neck just so we don't have that line. <laughs> I want a little bit more coverage on the forehead and my nose. So I would say that's a high medium coverage. It actually looks like flawless on the skin right now. It's not wanting to cling to my nose with a brush, but let's see how it looks with a sponge. Now I did use about one pump. I do feel like you get maybe a light to medium coverage with a sponge. in a little bit. So this is one layer of the foundation. I will say I do kind of prefer the brush side. I just feel like it looks a little bit more smooth. I feel like the pores and everything look a lot better on the brush side. And I feel like so does the coverage. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more just with the brush. As for the color, it is just a little too dark for me. I may have to mix it with my Revlon. But right now I am, I am liking it. Let's do a little bit more coverage where we need it. I 
So for the foundation, I definitely think it looks beautiful right now. I love the way it's looking on the skin. I don't have it clinging to any dry patches yet. It's just not wanting to cling to my nose very well, so I'm hoping the concealer will kind of help me cover that up. But as for the color, I don't think it's as dark as I expected. It's still not my perfect color, but we will see if it oxidizes or anything. But right now, I definitely prefer the brush. So again, this is the Studio Skin 24-Hour Waterproof Concealer in Fair. I'm just going to put this everywhere I normally would. Ooh. This is quite yellow. I will say it is pretty dang soft. And it smells like a regular concealer. So right now, as for these two together, like the concealer sits on top of this foundation beautifully. I have to admit that. Um, let's see, I mean it highlighted really well. It doesn't look crepey, it doesn't look dry. I didn't blend that in right there. I mean it doesn't look dry, it's just, I mean it's beautiful right now, so I'm hoping it stays this way because this is actually a really nice combination. I love the way it looks right now. And it is like a perfect demi matte right now. It's not too matte, but it's not like dewy or anything. So right now, I love how this is sitting on the skin. I think it looks beautiful. The color is obviously a little off, which is fine for right now. And it does feel nicely set. Now, I always powder my face because I do get extremely oily throughout the day. And I just use my um, RCMA No Color Powder. So I'm still going to set the, my entire face. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup. And I will be right back. All right, you guys, makeup is done. I love the way everything applied onto this foundation. Of course, I did powder and everything, but right now I am loving this, which I kind of hate because it's expensive, but it's so beautiful. It's just sitting here. It's just sitting so good on top of the skin. Everything went on it really well, and oh, it's just beautiful. Like, it doesn't show or like highlight my pores it hasn't sunken into my nose or anything yet and I always have a problem right here so this is a big test about the day because right now it actually looks really good to compare to what it normally does so around my nose is going to be the big test but again right now it is absolutely beautiful everything applied so easily it just sits on top of it perfectly and I am so excited to try this throughout the day because if it is good and it controls my oil and it lasts a long time then I will be so happy. <laughs> so check-in time is 9 o'clock and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and go to work and I will check in with you later. Hey guys I wanted to do a quick little checkup since I am home for about 30 minutes. I wanted to do it in natural lighting just so you can see if there's any difference but right now um I mean the foundation has lasted really well. It is about 3 o'clock so that is what so that's already like five, what, five or six hours? And it still looks really nice. I do have a little bit of creasing and just a little bit, I am a little bit oily through my T-zone, but not nearly as bad as I normally am, I will say. So this foundation so far looks really nice. I am loving the way it's holding up. Yeah, I mean, I'm just probably going to blot a little bit and just powder a little bit around my nose because I do have to go back to work. I will be checking in a little bit later. It'll be a really good test for this foundation because that'll be what... I won't go home till about 8.30, so it's really testing out the 15-hour wear. So far, I am really giving this one a thumbs up because it is still beautiful. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little check-in, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, it is late. I am tired. It's been bingo night at work, so I'm ready to take this off. I've been on for a little over 12 hours now, and I have to say it looks pretty dang good for being over 12 hours. Um, it has rubbed off a little bit from where I've been messing with my hair. The oil is kind of starting to show through. It's wearing off a little bit around my nose. And I have to say it's lasted such a long time. I really do recommend this combination together. I haven't tried it separately. Um, the concealer, it's not as good as my Urban Decay, but it is still pretty. I do prefer the Urban Decay over that one, but it is a little bit more pricey. My blush and everything is still on. It just, it still looks decent. Like I wouldn't mind this even though it's been 12 hours, so that's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this video was somewhat helpful, and I'm sorry it was such a late check-in, so I couldn't really go into depth. 
But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.